Top 5 African Tech Companies In the recent decade, the African technology industry has expanded dramatically. Several firms achieved record-breaking financial results, attracting dozens of new investors in the process, making Africa the world's fastest-growing continent for tech developers. This is demonstrated by Microsoft's $100 million investment in development centers that will employ over 500 Africans by 2023. And for the first time in history, African entrepreneurs earned more than $1 billion in funding in 2020, according to TechPoint. Nigeria leads the way, having raised 17% of the $1 billion target by 2020 while other significant African tech investment destinations include Egypt, Kenya, and South Africa. The availability of new innovation centers on the African continent has resulted in greater growth in the African tech space. According to Quart, IT centers in Africa grew by over 50% in 2019, and in each of their locations, these centers offer mentorship and workspace for investment ideas. Hello viewers and welcome to another informative and interesting video on the channel. We shall be looking at countdown of Africa's top 5 tech companies, but before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, it will be wise for you to hit that subscribe button right now. Give us a thumbs up and turn on notifications for this channel as we upload daily about things happening in and around Africa. Without further hesitation, here are some of Africa's top 5 tech companies. Number 5. 54Gene 54Gene is one of the most intriguing and inventive firms that have emerged from Nigeria or Africa in recent years. Since its launch in 2019, the startup's idea of filling a substantial vacuum in the worldwide genomics industry has piqued the interest of local and international media. Here is why. Almost 90% of the genetic material utilized in pharmaceutical research is Caucasian, in other words, white, with less than 3% being African. Despite the fact that research is indicating that Africans and people of African heritage have greater genetic diversity than any other world population combined. As a result, Pharmaceutical research and development is lacking the diverse data that may hold the key to medical discoveries and new healthcare solutions. 54 Gene, founded by Dr. Abasi Ene Obong, aims to address this issue by incorporating underrepresented Africans in worldwide genomics research. Number 4 Kobo 360 Kobo 360 is a Pan-African privately owned technology startup that is revolutionizing and leading the African third-party logistics market. Obi Ozo and Ife Oyedele launched the logistics company in 2017 and now employs between 50 and 200 employees with its headquarters in Surulere, Lagos, Nigeria. It has generated more than $37 million and has been chosen to link African truck drivers with firms in need across Nigeria and beyond. Kobo leverages big data and agile technology to minimize friction and expand efficiency in the African logistics ecosystem with an all-in-one robust platform that rapidly links cargo owners to trucks and drivers. The Nigerian-based company pays drivers directly to their bank accounts eliminating the need for cash transactions and putting all the paperwork online. By linking asset owners in the sector with MSMEs who use their services, the organization has devised efficient solutions for the difficulties in the logistics arena. Kobo is also getting ready to join the agro-trading area by creating a platform that links farmers with customers all around the world. Smallholder farmers' revenues will be greatly increased as the marketplace successfully eliminates the high expense of intermediaries. Number 3. Twiga Foods Twiga Foods, founded in 2014 by Peter Njonjo and Grant Brook, is on its way to becoming Africa's largest grocer. 
Twiga Foods is a Kenyan business-to-business -business food distribution company that has raised over $60 million and works to connect farmers with vendors to allow food to be sourced and delivered across Kenya. The mobile-based business-to-business marketplace has a workforce of over 400 people and raised $10 million in 2018. Farmers may publish produce on their mobile app, which merchants can then order to have delivered to them, forming a formal relationship between the farmer and the market. The firm collaborates with about 13,000 farmers and 6,000 suppliers. According to Fast Company, Trigger Foods was chosen for professionalizing East Africa's market economy, assisting urban merchants in sourcing vegetables from small-scale Kenyan farmers and developing a fintech product that produces vendors' loans to grow their enterprises. Number 2. Copia Global Copia Global, founded by Tracy Pentengill Turner, is an internet shopping service for low- and middle-income Africans. Copia's mobile platform based in Nairobi, Kenya, aims to target a market that is currently untapped by e-commerce and traditional retail vendors. It has generated $48 million and was chosen for its ability to enable Kenya's unbanked and disconnected to engage in e-commerce through a network of 5,000 community-based agents. According to Copia, this region's 750 million middle and low-income customers spend $680 billion every year. The platform, which serves around 180,000 customers, links users to items regardless of whether they have internet connection or not. Number 1. Flutterwave Flutterwave was created by Oluk Benga Agbola in 2016. The goal was to build a digital link between Africa and the rest of the globe. It also provides a dependable payment option for businesses in Africa and throughout the world. Surprisingly, Flutterwave has completed over 100 million transactions worth more than $5 billion. Flutterwave received a $35 million investment from a group of key investors in 2020. In addition, the business received $170 million from another investment round in March 2021. Today, the firm is worth more than $1 billion making it one of Africa's few unicorns. Flutterwave has risen to become one of the world's fastest growing payment companies. Flutterwave has processed about $2 billion in payments and 25 million transactions in 33 African nations, where it now operates since its launch. It has received major investment from Y Combinator Continuity Fund, Greycraft, Green Visor Capital, Omedia Network, and Glean Capital, amongst others. At the Apps Africa Innovation Awards in 2017, Flutterwave was crowned Africa's finest finance firm. Finally, despite the devastation of the current world crisis, the African digital space has positioned itself as a beacon of hope. Nonetheless, we anticipate additional investment and groundbreaking initiatives by 2022. And that brings us to the end of our video. But before leaving, is there any other African tech company that you believe should be included on this list? Well, share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.